Hey, Stephen Key here. And guess what? Someone asked another question about um, sleeping dinosaurs. Let's do sleeping dinosaurs. There's, there's a bunch of questions, but I'm going to do sleeping dinosaurs. He said, Steve, what is a sleeping dinosaur? And why do I care? To me, if, you're, if you want to come up with a great idea, find a sleeping dinosaur. That means I'm trying to find a technology that no one has done anything new to it in years that there's a market for it already. It's been selling for years, but guess what? That, that whole innovation is kind of sleeping. It's a giant, but it's just kind of resting and it hasn't really done anything and it hasn't been woken up and nothing new has happened to it for years. I call it a sleeping dinosaur, right? Because there's some, there's some benefit to finding these sleeping dinosaurs. Number one, there's a market for it. And number two, no one's done anything with it for a while. It's ripe to bring something new to it. So, I give you an example of a sleeping dinosaur. All right, coat hangers. That's right, coat hangers. Do we need any more coat hangers? I don't think so. Go down to Beth Bath Beyond and look at the wall of coat hangers. Come on, has anybody done anything new with the coat hanger in years? Yes, they have. And actually, I'm really surprised. In fact, I just um, wrote a story about Joy um, Mangan Mangano. Um, selling close to 1 billion, that's right, 1 billion after 20 year, it's her 20 year, 20 year anniversary of selling her coat hanger that's got some felt on it so the clothes don't fall off, right? And she's almost sold a billion of them. She found a sleeping dinosaur, coat hangers, and she added value to it. And she's been selling that for 20 years. I'll give you another example of someone doing something to a sleeping dinosaur, such as coat hangers, and it's been selling a lot of them. Guys, you know, you have your sweaters and you're, you're going to hang up your sweaters. Sometimes you fold them. Sometimes you put them on a coat hanger. But how do you do it? Most guys are really lazy. We put them through the neck. All right, we put them through the neck of the sweater. And guess what? We stretch out the, the, the thing. And when we do that, it's not pretty. So what happens? Um, a guy comes up with a coat hanger and kind of squeezes it down a little bit, calls it the Z hanger, and it makes it really easy to get it into the neck so it doesn't stretch it out. I think the guy got product of the year. He found a sleeping dinosaur, such as coat hangers. He saw a, a problem that people were having. He redesigned, and he won like product of the year. That's, you know, so coat hangers are a sleeping dinosaur. They've been around forever. And there's even another example of someone waking up that, that sleeping dinosaur of coat hangers. You know, um, if you go down and look at the aisle at Bed Bath Beyond, you'll notice that in that aisle, there'll be these cedar blocks to put in your closet to, to kill the moths and bugs and stuff like that. So sure enough, someone incorporated into a hanger uh, pieces of cedar, right? You can change the cedar, interchange the cedar, so your coat hanger has it built in. That's really clever. In fact, I actually love it so much because he took two products and brought them together and created something new. And that's a whole nother creative strategy called mix and match, which I absolutely love. But the bottom line is he saw a sleeping dinosaur such as coat hangers and brought some more innovation to it. So getting back, sleeping dinosaurs are products that have been selling for years that really haven't had any new innovation come along in a long time. But if you find a sleeping dinosaur and you wake it up, bring some new technology, maybe a different shape, maybe electronics, maybe who knows what, but add some benefit. When you license it, guess what? You're gonna sell a ton of them. So this is Stephen Key, thanks for watching. And hopefully I covered, I'll never have to say this again, about sleeping dinosaurs. All right, thanks guys. Once again, subscribe. Thanks, bye. Hi, this is Stephen Key. And I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.